what turned what started out as a really good day my husband and i got up he was feeling good and we went out in the ministry we came home i didn't even come in the house i come back home he's gone he had an errand to one which was a little distance away so i take my key i unlock the door come inside now i heard think i'm talking to him put down my purse my keys and the big um not container but package of paper towels that i had in my hand and i go back outside to start getting the groceries out of the car because i have ice i have a bag of ice and meats and stuff out there and i want to get mint so i get back to the door with a huge bag of ice and a couple small bags and the door is locked and i tried and tried and tried but the door was in fact locked so i ended up now keep in mind my purse and my keys are in the house which means my phone is in the house because it's in the purse so I have absolutely no way of calling my husband. I had to ring the doorbell and it took him a minute. Let's see if you can see, I'm using this for the first time. I had to ring the doorbell and hope he answered and it took him a minute, but he did. I guess he was like, well, I know she's not, she's at home and I haven't seen her come in yet. Who is this ringing the back door doorbell? If somebody was to come to our house, they would definitely come to the front door so i've never used this before this is my new chopper so i had to tell him what happened and then he had to leave from where he was which he has not taken care of his business yet so he had to leave from where he was come to me to bring the key and then go back i felt so bad he was a good sport about it he wasn't upset about it he was a good sport about it and he came right away but it was such a headache this is my first time using it. Let's see how it does. Y'all, I wasn't even recording. So the first time I did it, it was thick. That's much better. So then I cut the other half in half and it's cutting much better. Very nice. So I got what I'm looking for. So now we're gonna do the bell pepper. So I've chopped up some bell pepper. Love it, love it. If y'all have cooked with me before, I like a lot of bell pepper and onion for that good flavor. Love it. And I'm protecting my fingers with this. And it also has the ability to slice like the other one. But I have, where is it? So this makes, this chops it bigger. I don't want to lose these parts. Hurt drinking water. You can hear that over the washing machine. I don't know what this is. I have to dig deep you guys or look at the instructions but look at this love it just what i needed period and i could actually use half of this and put the rest in a ziploc and put them in the freezer so that's probably what i'm gonna do i've got these onion too oh this was the part i was looking for so you can stick this in the onion and then use it to slice so your hand never touches it Perfect. Okay, so first things first, you want to kind of saute your uh, pepper mix, onion and pepper mix. So I add a little olive oil to the pan and let that get nice and hot. And then I throw in my vegetables. And I'm always stirring my vegetables, you guys, as they're cooking down because... I don't want them to start sticking. Once they get soft, I add the meat of my choice. Now, I added ground sirloin and I think ground beef, but you can do ground turkey. You can do like Italian sausage. I, I've done like uh, ground beef and a ground Italian sausage mix. You can do chicken in this recipe and... um. I'm going to use beef broth. 
you can use uh, chicken broth instead. I also added some minced garlic, some pepper and pink Himalayan uh, sea salt uh, a few minutes ago. And I'm going to add a seasoning that's probably going to throw you off because this is a beef um recipe but i add a chicken bouillon um powder for flavor listen if you don't have this in your cabinet then you are missing out on flavors okay because it is really good i could probably season everything that i have with it i don't use a whole lot because it's got salt but it's got good seasoning now this is the better than bouillon um <clears throat> it's not really, you know, bouillon cubes and stuff like that. The first seasoning was a powder. It's still bouillon. And this one is more like a paste. It kind of browns my food. Um, I added a little bit of that too. I'm telling you these flavors, you got to try it, y'all. If y'all haven't tried it or y'all haven't mixed it, you got to tr uh, try it. I do have the chicken fl flavor better than bouillon, but I'm going to add a beef broth to this. So... I, I wasn't going to do too much with that. I used the Better Than Bouillon beef mix. And you know what? You can add other seasonings. If you like a little kick to this flavor, think about what else you can put in here to add a little kick to this soup. Like you don't have to use the seasonings I use or you don't have to be as light handed as I was with the seasoning. But one thing about me is I'm not going to use a whole lot. I'm going to let that cook down and I'm going to taste it. Now some suggestions for flavor would be slap your mama. And I didn't know they came in all of these different um flavors. And also the Tony and I think it's Catchery. I didn't know this came in all the flavors, but I'm definitely, anything that I use, I'm going to link below. I'm adding in onion powder and garlic powder, and I'm a little more heavy-handed on the garlic powder than I am on the onion powder. And I actually didn't have to add anything else to any other seasonings to this mixture at the end, except a little bit more pepper and a little bit more salt. So I was right on point. I just don't do a whole lot of seasonings. I taste and add. I taste and add so I know because I don't like my food over seasoned. I don't want it to be over salted or anything like that. So keep stirring it. Keep stirring it, girl. Let those flavors mix in there and get really, really good. And um, I actually had the eye up too hot. So I ended it up taking it off and letting it cool down a little bit. And then I added my mixed vegetables. Now you can use whatever brand you want. This is the brand that I had on hand. So I added two cans of mixed vegetables. And this, these next veggies, you don't have to use. It's really up to you what you add in here. But I like to add tomatoes, okra, and corn. And I added two cans of that. And you know what? Me and my husband love that mixture. It was super, super good. But you can also add, for a little kick, throw you a can of Rotel in here. Throw you some stewed tomatoes, throw you some diced tomatoes, some Italian tomatoes, like whatever you like. I don't, I'm not heavy with the tomatoes in my soup because my husband, his uh, digestive system is not set up like that. A lot of tomato we paste or tomato we, a lot of tomato gives them heart, heartburn. I'll say it like that. So I'm real careful about the things that I put in there. And those two cans of tomato, okra, and corn were just enough. Last thing I'm gonna add is a little beef stock. It's already swimming in its own juices, but I added a little beef stock. I think I added like half, maybe not quite half the container, gave that a stir, and then you just put your lid on and let it simmer down. Like let those veggies get soft, let those flavors come together, and that's all you need, you guys. So listen, the greediness in me failed to uh, put it in a bowl, show you what it looked like, give it a taste. Really, this is the end of the video, okay? <laughs> Just greedy, all right? Just greedy, but I, um, I didn't show you the end result. I'm so sorry. Y'all know how I do. I, I, y'all know how I do. I love y'all. Get a super try. If you give it a try, comment under this video and tell me how it turned out, okay? All right. See you guys in the next video.